Hey everyone, and welcome back to the multi-dimensional journey. This is your host, Ayahuasca Carr, and thank you so much for returning back to the channel. If you are returning today, and if you are new to the channel, thank you so much uh, for checking me out, for checking us out, checking this community out. And um, this channel is all about spirituality, wellness, mental health, um, different states of consciousness, and we talk a lot about uh, ayahuasca on here. I am a licensed clinical social worker, therapist, soul coach, self-taught breath worker, and multi-dimensional being just like you. Um, I really enjoy uh, creating content around uh, all these topics. So really excited for you to be here. And today I'm actually gonna take you through how to set up your own breathwork session, breathwork journey in your own room. And I really want to let you know that it's really, really simple. It doesn't take much work at all. All you need is a few things and you will be um, good to go. So um, the first thing I kind of want to talk about is, um, you know, the breath work tools and knowing um, how to breathe is probably the first step, right? Um, and then we'll get into music here in a second because those are two probably the most important things of any breathwork journey, any breathwork practice um, is your breath because you need that and then your music as it, it supports more of the dropping in experience, bypassing the mind, dropping into the autonomic nervous system, um, getting into the soma, the feeling, right? This is what breathwork is all about. So, um, so I'll give you the really simple instruction that I give most of my clients in my breathwork sessions um, when I'm doing breathwork on my own, but it's all circular mouth breathing. So that basically just goes like this. So it's just a deep inhale into the belly all the way up into the chest and the exhale out. So breathing in and out and this happens continuously. Now the thing to keep in mind here is that the faster you go, the more intense it's going to be. The slower and more expansive and methodical breath you'll be, um, that's how your experience will be. So it's just, I would say, just play with what works for you. But I like to keep this simple concept in mind. Just like with anything else, we always like a warm up, right? And then a nice peak, and then a come back down. And this bell curve experience is in so many things in life, right? Things are often accumulated. There's often climactic moments in life, and we come back down. And it happens naturally in a lot of things that we do, right? But just for an example, you know, when you go for a workout, you usually have a nice warm up, you get your mindset right, you have a peak experience, and then you have a cool down. So breath work is very much similar to this experience. So, um, so let's go through that together, okay? So for your warm up experience, it's deep diaphragmatic breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. So deeply in, and out through the mouth. So this is how we're entering the space. We're entering the space through this deep diaphragmatic breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And then at some point when we're ready, we'll, we'll begin to do the circular breath work. And just depending on how you feel, whatever's going on that day, you can speed it up, you can keep it at the own pace, whatever feels right. Um, and that's what I would encourage you to do is always to kind of listen to what is feeling right. And the more you practice it and the more you work with it, the more you're going to be able to understand your own experience. Um, and then 
the closing of the, the breathwork session will end just as it started. So deeply in through the nose and out through the mouth. So that's your breathing container. That is what you will do. Um, and then, for example, if you want to put together, like, basically, I'll, just for an example, a 20-minute playlist. So maybe you'll have a five-minute, you know, coming in period, a five-minute coming out period. So five, so about 10 minutes of this coming into the space, and then five minutes coming out to the space, and also what is known as your integration song. So there's preparation, there's the processing, right? And then at the end, there's the integration. So everything is sandwiched in really nice. And as you guys know, um, this is also mimicking um, not only psychedelic experiences, especially ayahuasca, but even in practices like EMDR or any psychotherapy practice, we talk about um, you know, if we're looking at preparing to go into trauma or anything difficult, anything that's going to require a lot of bandwidth, um, expansion, we always want to have some sort of preparation process. So that's what that five minutes is for. And if you need more time, give yourself more time. And if you want more than 20 minutes, give yourself more than 20 minutes. And if you want more time for integration, give yourself more time. Um, a tool that I really like to use for music is Spotify. And if you don't have it, I go get it. <laughs> That's all I got to say. I'm a huge Spotify fan. Um, I, nothing else really makes sense to me at this point. So if you're an Apple music user or somehow else you get your music, I can't really, you know, point you in the right direction with that. But regardless of whatever you're using, you can put together some form of playlist. So however you're putting your playlist together, and use what works for you. I am shamelessly uh, gravitating towards Spotify though. Um, so your music will be set up in such a way that you want gentle, well actually, whatever you want it to be, you know. How I usually do it though is I have a gentle entering. So some sort of shamanic drum music or Native American flute or any like binaural beats or um, crystal bowl sound healing noises whatever I want, right? So this, this video is all about self-empowerment, by the way. Really encouraging you to do what works for you. So, and then in the peak process or the processing, you know, sometimes I have like Indian, um, Indian music, um, drums. Um, sometimes I put electronic dance music. Um, I've played with a lot of different things over um, over the months. I guess, you know, it's almost been like a year or so that I've been practicing my own breath work on myself. So whatever works for you. Um, and if like you're in a mood where you really want to release, tap into what helps you feel like you can release, right? Um so that will be in the middle part. And then once again, the ending, um, do encourage like some slower methodical music, um, some grounding music, whatever that means to you. So that is the container, right? Um, the music container, the breathwork container. And now I'm gonna show you up on the bed over here. And I'm actually probably gonna have to unplug myself. This is what happens when you decide not to edit your videos, by the way, <laughs> um, which, I used to, but I just prefer to not do that anymore. So um, I'm going to unplug it and um, hopefully you can still hear me. So I'm going to unplug it and basically what you'll do is like you're just going to on your bed. This is what I like to do. I'm just going to place some pillows, one for your beautiful head and the other one on front and with your knees, okay? And you're just gonna lay down like this. And you're gonna lay down like this, right? And you're gonna have your headphones in, right? You're gonna have your headphones in with your playlist, right? And I sometimes light some candles and I'll actually do like an opening before I do it, you know, maybe um, some Palo Santo, set my intention. Um, which, by the way, right, this is all the same kind of ritual that you find in an ayahuasca ceremony, too. So it's kind of cool in that way. And um, 
And then so you would just close your eyes and then for example, you just drop into like maybe the first song and you're breathing deeply within the nose. And then eventually, right, say five, seven minutes pass by, you're dropping into the circular breath. And that happens for about 15 to 20 minutes for me, and then I dip into my integration. Um, and then afterwards, right, you just kind of want to lay down and get back up whenever you're ready. And then, um, I don't have it in here, but then you want to grab a journal and you want to write some things down. Um, you can also record yourself or something that I've really realized is uh, better yet, just videotape yourself and make vlogs of how this process is working for you. Um, cause changes happen physically sometimes like even in our facial expressions or our voice right it's really interesting to be curious about how your voice changes how your body language changes all that stuff so we went through that rather quickly but i really just wanted to um like right i'm all about like just giving people the tools the process because this stuff is not um, I mean, of course the emotional releases can be challenging sometimes, but I think it's really important for people just to know like how to empower themselves to do these things. So, um, of course, um, you know, be careful. There are medical stipulations around breath work. So if you've never done breath work before, make sure you check with a medical professional or at least educate yourself on contraindications of breath work. Um, but if you know you're a pretty healthy person um, and you're all good there, then you should be okay. Um, and if you are curious about breathwork and you want to do a breathwork session with me, I can take you through the process. If you want that, you know, someone kind of walking you through it, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, I'm doing sessions um, up until, you know, sometime like middle of this month and then I'll be gone for two months. Um, but when I return, I'm definitely resuming all, uh, services and sessions and definitely going to start some breathwork groups. So I hope you feel empowered to start your own breathwork routine. Um, you have some tools to kind of put it all together. Questions, comments, anything, please list below. And, uh, thank you so much for continuing to come back to this channel. Um, really appreciate you guys so much. Um, I post videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays. And, um, yeah, once again, thank you so much. And as always, you know, remember why you came here. Bye guys.